Have you ever posted a selfie on social media that's gotten you into serious trouble? Yeah. Well, two medical students did this recently. They got in a lot of trouble. They posted sicko selfies. They went viral. Their entire medical careers are now in doubt. So this first one, posted by a Venezuelan OBGYN student who posed for his delivery room selfie while unnamed female patient was in the middle of labor and he posted it on his personal Instagram account with the caption, lady, I can deliver your baby, but first let me take a selfie. Yeah. But it gets worse. This is about to blow your mind. Wow. He also How can it get boasted worse than that? that his team can bring kids into the world and reconstruct P, uses the P word to describe pri private parts. No. Claiming their skills are such that women can look forward to being brand new like a car with zero kilometers on the clock. <laughs> Now he's already, he hasn't even graduated from med school, and he is already a doctor that no woman in the world would want to see. No. no. Ever. <laughs> the, the idea that his career is possibly questioned, I would say that the see, medical school should. And here's the thing about medical school. It is so hard to get in. I don't care what country you're in. It is hard to get in. It represents tremendous sacrifice, tremendous resources on the part of someone. It's expensive. It's a time commitment. One thing they can assess when you apply, your character, right? Your judgment as a person, not as a doctor. This, this is beyond. Poor Clearly, judgment. If I were that dean, change. out of there. But I think it's gotten to so much of a, hey, look at me culture that even these medical students who should be focused on learning skills to save lives, they're so focused on themselves. No, that's the, the point. It's so not about the doctor or the student. It's about the patient. And that is what is wrong with these kind of pictures. But Completely inappropriate. Completely inappropriate. Never OK. Yeah, never. There was a, another one that was uh, pretty bad, apparently, in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and this young lady, apparently, what she's doing is, th this patient was on her deathbed when she did this picture, right? Smiling, she's got her peace sign up. Yeah. Um, and and uh, to add fuel to the fire on her caption, it read, I went to do the rounds and this lady was dying. So, Aww. selfie! Can you imagine? No, no oh. words. <laughs> no words. So, so you know, you, you have to wonder, are, is, is this basically exposing two people that were, they were just kind of bad people anyway? I mean, like, I think mm. the opportunity to showcase the, your personality on these types of Instagram photos just reveals to the rest of the world what type of person you really are. Although it's, and, I, I, and you really should not be allowed to graduate from medical school. But it's Correct. also, I, I, it also to me reflects changing cultural times where Again, I, I don't want to call them kids, but they are still students. Even if they're in medical school, they're still, they're still kids in many ways. And clearly, they don't realize how bad this is. Both of these students did come out and apologize and say, look, the patients, you know, they, they but, gave their consent, which I highly doubt. The, the one who's the, the, the one who's dying. Friend, she even said. She even said we became friends and we became friendly. No, we are privileged to be in someone's most intimate situations, to know their most private information. So this is a slippery slope. If you're going to share something on a selfie, are you? It's just as bad if I say, "Hey, Rach, let me tell you about this patient I saw," I and agree. and that's and not gossip, because right. and gossiping. Or it's just as bad. So if they can't draw the line with the most egregious example, what are they going to do with the little stuff? Yeah. Well, and that's what's Disaster. so important about all this. And just so everyone knows, the pictures we showed of those students, those were actually reenactments. We would never compromise uh, patients in that situation. So we actually had some people reenact what the photos look like.